forest fairies are probably the weirdest thing in the world, because they're just like adult baby men. It's his first appearance chronologically. Oh no, the great fairy! Because I thought he was like in uh, the Oracle games. I guess he wasn't in Link to the Past or um, Link's Awakening. He was in Majora's Mask. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to look that up. I don't really remember. Anyway, please hear my plea. I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. So I'm just assuming I have to trigger this by actually going here and talking, but maybe I don't. Yeah, I knew at least he was in the Oracle games. I wasn't sure about Link's Awakening, though. I guess not. It's very strange. Alright, so where was that fairy? She was somewhere that I saw, and I had to fly and get her. It was like right here, I think. Isn't it like right here? Different place now? Could have sworn this is where it was. Alright, you can't get on the roof, huh? Oracle games are great. Way up there in my list of favorite Zeldas. dog is already growling at me. It starts attacking me again. I'm going to be pretty upset. the stray fairy. Come on, shut up. Which oracle game did my avatar come from? I'm not sure. I forget. One of them came from Zelda 2. But then I have another avatar. Probably seasons, I guess? I'm not sure. They kind of blend together in my mind because I played them both like right after each other and then I did the combined code thing. Hey! Another one of those messed up dogs. again. Great. Is this the guy that wants the tear? This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. 
<clears throat> I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. Thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My mo my wife would love it. If you get to give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku flower included. All right, so I know what to do with the flower, uh, the tear once I get one. The early scrub gets the nut. Shut up, dog. We should probably have a counter for how many times I time out, huh? Maybe I'll do that next next stream. We'll just keep track for now, and maybe I'll visualize that next stream. Some sort of graphical representation. Assuming it'll be a constant thing throughout the game. Shit. Where the hell is this god? Oh, there it is. Well, it is right here. Just didn't see it during the daytime, I guess. It wasn't here yet. Here we go! Yeah. I'm a survivor, I could give up, I'm gonna fly right into the fairy. The mask kit has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Alright. We pooped. Alright, so this is where we get the thing. The thing that does the thing. <laughs> Tattle. And you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that mass child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. <laughs> Those sharp titties put a spell on me. Oh man. Uh. You've been granted magic power, bubble blasts. Press B to hold and blow a bubble. Or at least B to shoot it. Magic power decreases when you shoot. Plunge it with jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you ever are returned to your former shape, please come see me. I shall give you more help. <laughs> I remembered the bomber's code through the, uh... Time paradox that this game is. Does that answer your question? Mm. 
So now I can blow my way through the uh, bomber thing, right? Am I in the right place? Is it South Clocktown? No, no, it was East Clocktown. I was in the right place. Yeah, I timed out once. I failed like the noob I am. Oh well. He'll already let me in. Good. Making progress. Moving on, moving strong. <laughs> See you later, bubble. Talk to the scarecrow. The scarecrow's weird. I don't have my ocarina yet. I'm feeling I'll need at least some kind of musical instrument for that thing. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. <laughs> uh, are you know, a new friend of the bombers gang? <laughs> Mammers, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friends from the other day. <laughs> that old man and troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instrument. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble all over that clock tower. Will you gaze into my telescope? <laughs> Oh, there he is. The moon. The moon, so sad. Oh, did you find that troublemaker? No, 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 what was that? Perhaps another moon tears all nearby. Um, we'll go, go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. And the way up there is through the clock door, and that only opens on the eve of the carnival. This is one of the lunar rocks that has been blazing from the surface of the moon lately. They fall from what looks like to be the moon's eyes, so I call them moon tears. They're rare stones valued by many in towns. Alright, cool. And that's the one I gotta find out here. There it is. Moon tear. It radiates. Still the first day, and look how far we are. Much better this time around. Am I right? I'd say so. God, this is a nice couch, though. I kinda wanna hang out here and just chill on this pedophile's couch. It's really weird that my television keeps shrinking. <laughs> Dawn of the second day, okay. So this is like that cutscene I missed. I didn't miss shit. Nothing happened. 